Hello Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. This is your weekly coffee cup reading for the week ahead of August 6th through the 12th. Um, I'm going to be doing each, I've drank for each section of the cup for, I'm going to start first with Taurus, then with Virgo, then with Capricorn. I'm still on the road um, and I didn't want you guys to miss out on a coffee cup reading. Um, I picked up this really nice set. I bought four of them in Salem, Massachusetts, one place I stopped on my vacation on the road. And so um, it, the only way to do it is to divide, um, um, well, I'm doing the earth sign, so it's the same element. And then I've divided the cup, so I'll be doing each reading. If I don't have the timestamps and I don't have time to put it down there, I hope you guys help me out with that. So we're gonna start with that, and I did pick up some nice, really new gemstones um, in Salem, so I'm gonna be adding that to my collection, so excited. And if you have um, ordered a reading with me, I will be starting to book um, the readings, schedule them by tomorrow, because I'm gonna be on the road back. Okay, so let's start. We're gonna start with um, Taurus for the week of August 6th through the 12th. Okay, for Taurus, you should be really trying to do new things, okay? Trying to experiment, doing some new things, okay? Patience is also a virtue is the best thing I can say here. Matters of the heart are coming through as well, okay? So um, that's going to be in focus. Also, this could be some contracts, some agreements coming through too. Um, and also trying to keep your balance emotionally, Okay, so that's one thing I'm seeing here too. Very loving, nurturing, nurturing energy too, and this could be with some females in your life, as well. Um, I do see there could be a little bit of critics around as well. New ways of thinking, experimenting with some things too. Um, I also see you know taking some risks. Um, there could be someone who is a little bit harsh and critical, but they may be telling you something, so listen to it. It could be the truth. You know, the truth can hurt, but at least you're getting the truth. That's what I'm seeing as well. Um, yeah, I'm definitely seeing routines may change. Expect some surprises. Expect the unexpected, but mostly nice, okay? Connect spiritually, too. There are some spiritual messages a little bit foggy, though. Um, I do see some fun, self-indulgent energies, too. Um, watch for some moodiness. That is coming through as well. Um... I do see, be careful of possessiveness, moodiness, um, jealousy could be around, but that could be you too. Um, be selective in any risk that you do take though, okay? Especially when it's connected with finances or money. So that's one thing that I saw with you guys. Okay, on the plate for Taurus. Where did I start with Taurus? Okay, Taurus. On the plate for you guys. Don't assume everything. Don't jump to conclusions is one thing I'm seeing here, okay? You are on the right path with some thoughts that you do have, okay? Some of you could be a little bit more to yourself as well. Um, indecisions, okay? Or trying to make some choices. I'm seeing that, trying to decide some indecisions, maybe a little bit of confusion, all right? That's what's coming through. I also see good communications, okay? For some of you, it could be bonding, um, good communications, especially connected to the matters of the heart. Um, pay attention to your wishes and to your dreams, okay? Because you do have that there. Don't give up on them. That's what I'm seeing here as well. Um, a, a, a wish could come true, okay? Or there could be a little bit of delay in it. I do see also um, some of you may be dealing with some children or some. there's a little bit of youthful energy as well. Um, so there is an opportunity coming through too financially is what I'm seeing as well for Taurus. Okay, so we're going to continue on to Virgo next. Okay, this section's for Virgo. Okay, um, for some of you, I'm seeing a lot of spiritual energy. There could be a spiritual journey or some kind of travel. Um, could be dealing with some kind of karma, karmic death. Okay, along the road that could be coming from this week on. That's what I'm seeing as well. Okay, some of you may be dealing with a water sign or someone who exhibits those energies. I do see that and trying to create balance, emotional balance as well. 
um, children um, are in focus too, or this is, yeah, dealing with youthful energy. I also see that um, make sure that any promises you make that you keep them and be careful of any promises around you too. There's not, there's a lack of follow through. Okay, so I'm seeing that um, there is an energy here of you could be highly, um, a little bit too over defensive this week, but I do see also situations of people leaving your life this week. Okay, as well. So I'm seeing that too. Um, I do see plans for the future, a little bit of confusion, some options in that, that maybe you be um, recalibrating, things like that um, showing up. I do see doing things a little bit differently, okay? Um, the spotlight is on you, for good or for bad. You know, it is a general here, and I'm doing a quick reading. Um, doing things a little bit differently. I do see you could be a little bit more impulsive, which is a little bit unusual, but also I see indecisive. Okay, so there's like a lot of um, decisions or questions or indecisiveness. Um, your cur curiosity will be definitely accented this week too. You do need to go a little bit with the flow. You have a lot of spiritual energy as well. So there could be some messages here, very spiritual, karmic as well. Okay, so go with the flow is what I'm seeing. There could be some travel showing up as well. Okay, on the plate for you guys. Okay. You could have a very, oh, it's a little bit out of focus. You could have a very fast week, okay? I'm seeing that energy as well. Why is this out of focus? Okay, you could have a very fast week. Um, moving along very quickly. There could be some news rushing in as well, okay? Um, there could You could be traveling as well for what I'm seeing or moving away from some kind of trouble, okay? Or trying to move away from something that comes through. There could be a sense of denial too. Um, counting your blessings as well, but at the same time, there is a sense of you're not too happy with some stuff that may be um, offered or coming through for you, okay? So we are seeing this energy here as well, so it's a little bit in the yellow. Yeah, okay. That was the reading for Virgo for the week of August 6th through the 12th, and now we're going to continue with um, Capricorn. Yeah, it's better in focus here now. Okay, Capricorn. There is a little bit of yellowish energy, so I'm seeing some of you could be a little bit disappointed with some stuff, okay? Or just a sense of wanting more is what I'm picking up here as well. Okay, you could be a little bit moody. Um, Listen to your intuition. There could be some truths revealed too. Pay attention to your dreams. I'm seeing that. There's some spiritual energy here as well. I just see a lot of stress at the same time, okay? Maybe you're not sleeping well or something like that is showing up as well. There is um, death and rebirth, okay? There's an ending to a situation, okay? Moving away from it. Um, so there is that energy of death and rebirth. Yes, sometimes that can indicate dealing with physical death, not yours, but someone else's, I have to say, because you do have a cross here. Um, so we are seeing that energy. You are very ambitious, okay? And um, you can get a lot started, though. I do see enthusiastic energy as well coming through. Um, it's great for starting some, especially if you're wanting to maybe um, start some kind of your own business or entrepreneurial pursuits. Very good energy there. Um, don't expect others to share your excitement, though, okay? There could be some people who are just like, no, nah, okay. That kind of energy is showing up. I do see very nice, great perspectives coming through, and you have great planning skills. Very systematic, very nice. You know, you're going to be solidifying some of your decisions this week as well. You know, ones that you've de delayed in the past, making decisions from the past, or maybe, you know, situations. Um, you're going to be thinking about the big picture and what you really want to be doing, okay? You will find the answers. They will be coming to you too, and to make things happen. So you've got some very strong energy there. Okay. Um, on the plate, this is for Capricorn. Mm. Hard work is definitely going to pay off, okay? Some of you may be working overtime on some stuff. You're still working, and it's just um, the message here is working and gaining and will pay off. So that's something... 
um, that is uh, showing up. I do see very serious energy. Some of you could have someone very heavy on your mind. This could be a boss or someone who's an authority that could be very helpful as well. Okay, so that's really good here too. You have a yes answer to anything I don't answer to. Very nice, happy energy. This could be also two, um, two aspects in your life, you know, coming through. There's some growth, okay? Two um, situations or two aspects in your life that um, you're building on. Very nice energy here too. So that's what's coming through for you guys. Okay, so this reading was for... Um, for the earth signs, for each of you, a mini reading so you guys don't miss out. So I don't miss out giving you guys a reading this week. Um, for Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn for the week of August 6th through the 12th. Like I said, if you have um, ordered a reading with me, I will be scheduling you soon. I'm still on the road. I wish you all a wonderful week and I'll catch you back next week. Well, the end of this week. The regular coffee cup um, readings will be posted on Friday for the week ahead. Okay, until then, all the best and bye for now.